Hi, hello, this is PGL and today we're going to cook an Ambur style chicken biryani. Now I have taken half a kilogram of jeera sambar rice. This is what we're going to use for Ambur biryani. So the ingredients that I'm going to use is also for half a kilogram of rice only. The ingredients that we're going to use in this biryani is almost the same like other biryanis. But the way we treat the ingredients is going to be a little bit different and there's going to be a little bit of tweak here and there. I have taken half a kilogram of rice and have washed it three to four times and I've kept it aside and have taken half a kilogram of chicken for this biryani. I've taken two medium pots for this biryani and I'm going to place it side by side on the stove and one pot is for cooking the biryani another one is for cooking the rice. The pot which I'm going to cook the rice we're going to put it in swim and boil the water first and simultaneously we will lit this stuff and we will start cooking our biryani. We have preheated the pot and for half a kilogram of rice I'm going to use 150 ml of oil. I'm not going to use any additional ghee to this biryani, I'm going to use only the oil. Once the oil is warm, I'm going to use one bay leaf, four cardamoms, four cloves, and four to five pieces of cinnamon. Once the spice starts to crackle, Add the onions. I have taken 200 grams of chopped onion. So for half a kilogram of rice, we take 200 grams of onion and 200 grams of tomatoes. Unlike other styles of biryani, in this biryani, we do not fry the onions to the crispy brown texture. In this biryani, we're going to fry the onions till it gets glossy and soft. We have fried the onions till we get a glossy and soft texture. So at this point of time, I'm going to add 50 grams of garlic paste, fresh ground garlic. I'm not using the ones which are canned. We will fry the garlic paste along with the onions. We will fry till the rawness of the garlic is gone. Once the garlic is fried till the rawness is gone, we're going to add the ginger paste. And this is again going to be a fresh ground ginger paste. We're going to add 50 grams of ginger paste. We're going to fry this till the rawness of the ginger is gone. Now for this biryani, we're not going to use uh, green chilies or chili powder or any other powders. I have made a paste for this biryani. I have used uh, 8 to 10 red chilies and one baby chili for the color and have ground it into a fine paste. So for half a kilogram of rice, I would use around one teaspoon of this paste. If in case you want it a little bit spicy, you can add a little bit more. Now we have fried it till the rawness of the ginger is gone now. So we're going to add the chili paste. So 
So that's one teaspoon of chili paste that's gone into the biryani. We're going to lower the flame and mix it well so that we get the color of the chili added to this biryani. Once that is mixed well, we will add chopped coriander and chopped mint leaves. Now the measure for the mint leaves and the coriander is that you, you hold it in your fist, that is how much you need to use. Now goes the tomatoes. Two hundred grams of fine chopped tomatoes. We'll fry this till the tomatoes get cooked. We will add salt for taste. half a teaspoon of cinnamon powder mix it well once the tomatoes is cooked we'll add the chicken at this point of time I have taken half a kilogram of chicken so equal quantity as the rice Now mix the chicken well with the masala. Once the chicken is added to the biryani and mixed well, we are going to add 150 ml of curd. Mix it well till the curd blends with the masala. Once we add the curd, we need to add some water for the chicken to cook. Now we're going to use hot water instead of cold water here. Now for a zira rice, for one glass of rice, we use one and a half glass of water. So as we are going to pre-cook that rice up to 20% in a separate vessel, we're going to add only one glass of water. So I have measured the rice on a glass, so I'm using the same glass to measure the water right now. Now we'll allow the chicken to cook for five minutes. Usually the cook time for a chicken is around five to seven minutes. So five minutes we cook it with the masala and the rest of the chicken would get cooked along with the rice. Now before we close the lid, we will taste the salt. Now the salt has to be a little bit in excess because we're going to add the rice to the biryani. Once the rice is added, the rice will absorb a little bit of salt. We need to add a little bit of salt. I'm going to add the salt right now. After we have added the, the required salt, we're going to use half a teaspoon of lemon juice for half a kilogram of rice. We're going to close this with the lid and allow the chicken to cook. Now while the chicken is cooking, the other stuff, we will increase the flame. We will add some salt to the water to cook the rice. Now we will close the lid. 
and allow it to cook for 5 minutes. Now the chicken's been cooking for 4 minutes. Now at this point of time, we will add the rice to the water in the other pot and we will boil the rice for 1 minute. Now it's already 5 minutes. At this point of time, we will lower the flame on the biryani. Drain the water from the rice and we will add it to the biryani. Once we have added the rice to the biryani, we'll level the rice Gently mix it. And add the drained water up to the level where the rice is immersed in water. Now close it with a lid. and increase the flame. Allow it to cook in high flame for two minutes. Once it is cooked in high flame for two minutes, we will lower the flame and keep a heavy object on the lid and allow it to cook for 15 minutes. Now the biryani has been cooking in low flame for 15 minutes. We're going to open the lid and check if the biryani is cooked. Now the biryani is cooked perfectly. You can smell the biryani. I'm going to flip the rice from the bottom to the top. Your Ambo style chicken biryani is ready to be served. Hope you love this video. In case you missed out the ingredients, please do look at the description below to find the ingredients and the method of cooking. Please like, share and subscribe my videos and thank you for watching.